you're the new guy walking in. You are walking into a job where the owner has shown you he does not value the front office. You are also being asked to somehow pull a rabbit out of your hat. Right. Create a roster good enough to beat a historically good Golden right. State Warriors team, but by the way, do it despite having no picks. Oh, and if LeBron leaves next summer, that is also going to be on your watch, too. I mean, is this... Is this a job Chauncey should want? He's our, our friend. Are we, are we this, advising him to take this job? I tweeted it yesterday to much to the chagrin of many people. I said, Chauncey Phillips is going to be excellent exec in this league. I would hate for his first experience to be with this clown show, right. to have to deal with this. Because not only all the things that you listed, Rachel, but if anything goes wrong, he's not being compared against where we should be. He's being compared against the Warriors, who are light years ahead. But he's also being compared against... Griff and what the Cavs did in the past years, and that's not fair. And if LeBron leaves, forget about that. Now, now you have to, now you've got to put the pieces together, and you're looking at even if you get a Jimmy Butler, well, we talked about it, even if, if you get a Jimmy Butler. If LeBron <laughs> leaves, I think that takes less pressure <laughs> off of it. You're the guy who walked the LeBron walked out the door. And by the way, one of the Chicago papers uh, kind of tucked into one of their Jimmy Butler stories today said, oh, by the way, word is that Kyrie Irving wants to leave if LeBron leaves, which I mean, who wouldn't, I guess, right? That is a lot of pressure. I mean, Chauncey is a great basketball mind. Mm -hmm. I think he'll do well. Mm -hmm. Um, He has great relationships throughout the league and with, you know, uh, players of the past and, and the players that are current now with these young guys. He has great rapport with them. Has a great relationship with Dan Gibbert. So... Um, and, and LeBron James and Ty Lue. Yep. Maybe this can all work out. I, I think if they were to go out and hire anybody, it should be this guy because of the relationships I, that he I think have. Chauncey is the smartest pick for them yes, because right. you blunt... Look, LeBron obviously made it clear last night. He is frustrated with the fact that he advocated for Griff to stay and Gilbert unilaterally decided, no, I don't want to do this. LeBron respects Chauncey Billups. Yes. And by the way, it's not nothing to have a black executive leading his sure. team, a former player. That is something that is important to LeBron about putting guys like him in positions of power and empowering them to do the jobs they are definitely smart That's enough key. to do, right? He's really close friends with Ty Lue, so that blunts sort of any issue with Ty Lue, feeling, hey, I got betrayed yeah. here too. The guy works so closely with David Griffin. So I think there's no question that Chauncey is a smart person for the Cavs to put it's, in their operation. The is it, is it smart it's for, for Chauncey right. to want to go there? Because there. he's going to be new to this job by definition, mm-hmm. right? He's going to have right. to learn a little bit about the And landing job. in Hell Week. Right, well, that's Draft the thing. It's and, this like, this week. is the worst time to start your job. Take on it, man. Take on a challenge. <laughs> you think so? As a player, is that, is that the attitude? Because that's Take what on a challenge. I was talking to some of, of course, this has been a large topic of internal <laughs> conversation at ESPN today. Are we losing our guy? We all love Chauncey. I mean, I, it's one of the things I said to someone. I said, if you're a player, it's it's hard to say this hill looks too big to climb. Chauncey's been climbing tall Loves hills his it. whole life. His whole career, that's what he, that's was, true. he was doing. Right? Take on this big challenge. I, I believe him. I think he can handle it. I, I think there's a difference between competing against other teams and other GMs and competing internally against the man who signed well, the check. I mean, part of it's it going to be to who would they bring him on as the GM? Would they bring him on as the president of basketball operations and bring a GM Regardless, who's more basketball I would hope president, president of basketball operations. I think the GM has a little bit more work to do. But even, even whatever, whatever they call it, case, he's still competing not against other GMs, not other teams. He's competing against the megalomaniac in charge. Well, <laughs> That's what he's competing against. I'm not sure if I would go that far. I don't go that far. <laughs> but, the, but again, the man left that letter up for four years on the website. He's not, he's not a regular. Here is a guy, and, and again, I, I just want to point out, it's his team. He has the right sure. to run his team the way he wants, but what he has made it very clear it is, is alarming. he does I mean, not value the front office. He yeah, wants a well, Jerry Jones-style system. he hasn't Jones given anybody system. an extension for 12 years. Right. He wants so a Jerry Jones-style system. Not he flag. wants it to center around him. Yeah, exactly. Well, now, how often does that work out um, in our sport? Know. You know. Exactly.